Good morning from the European Parliament. My name is Ulrike Lunacek. I'm Vice President of this Parliament. I'm from Austria and from the Greens EFA Group. I'm also the Vice President in charge of EMAS. Well now, what is EMAS? EMAS is the Environmental Management Audit Scheme. And the idea behind is to set goals in environmental standards and get better every year. The European Parliament, I can tell you, holds this certificate since 2009, meaning already seven years. And this topic is not only close to my political heart, but it is also a necessity, especially when we look at the Paris Agreement, which was signed last week in the European Parliament. Now, generally, buildings are responsible for 40% of energy consumption and 36% of CO2 emissions in the European Union. Now let me outline what we in the European Parliament are doing in order to reduce our own energy demand. The European Parliament has a building stock of one and a quarter million square meters at three places of work. And that corresponds to a total surface of 175 football fields distributed over 28 buildings of different age located in Brussels, Strasbourg and Luxembourg. Now, currently, about 35% of those buildings are over 50 years old. Over the past years, the European Parliament has considerably improved energy efficiency and we've been doing that via renovations, energy audits, solar panels, better insulation, new heat pumps, more efficient cooling systems, renovation of ceiling circulations, and better management of lighting systems. That's only one of the few things that we have done. There are many others. Part of the success, I would say, is that the majority of the buildings are owned by the European Parliament. And this enables us to launch renovation projects if they're possible and appropriate. For example, let me give you one. In Strasbourg, the Václav Havel building is currently undergoing thorough renovation. When it will be completed, it will have high-performance heat insulation with integrated solar panels. And as a result, this project has already received the energy label high-performance renovation. It will also have thermal insulation and will use a ground source heat pump. In Brussels, and that's another example, the building in Rue Montoyer is one we have been renting since 2012. But even in this rented building, thorough renovation has been possible and has already won awards. It is also BREEAM Excellent Certified. It's equipped with solar panels with a green roof, rainwater recuperation and innovative system for automatic control of lighting. And this is why especially staff is benefiting a lot from natural sunlight. How great is it to work with natural sunlight? Apart from that, the European Parliament also tries to push limits of current construction technologies with our new buildings. In Brussels, for example, the Wilfrid Martins building will soon be finished, creating a 39,000 square meters Brium Excellent certified building. It will be equipped with both geothermal heating and cogeneration on a scale that makes it unique for all of the Brussels region. And then there's the new Konrad Adenauer building in Luxembourg. It will have new building extension and this will be about 220,000 square meters for around 3,150 staff that will be renovated. It will provide also geothermal heating and cooling systems, photovoltaic cells and thermal panels. Now, by improving the energy efficiency of our buildings, we have been able to reduce our total energy consumption. We have been able to lower, lower our CO2 emissions and also our costs have been lowered considerably. As you can see, and I hope I have been able to show you, we in the European Parliament are living up to our own demands. Now, the European Union's energy policy and legislation is very ambitious and it's one of the main drivers to boost innovation, economic growth 
and ambitious standards in the area of energy efficiency across the continent. And by the way, this also means jobs. Don't let us not forget that. Now I am convinced that all European institutions should contribute to these achievements of these ambitious objectives and lead by example. An extra effort has been made to meet and go beyond current building standards, which will pay back many times in the years to come. When I look at the list of highly competent speakers that you have at your conference, and how much is happening in the field of energy efficiency in general, I'm sure that the adventure has just begun. Thank you very much for the opportunity of sharing with you our positive experiences on energy efficient building projects at the European Parliament. I wish you very lively and interesting discussions and the best success for today's event and for achieving our common objectives. Thank you and goodbye.